Well, I think that in the interest of the privacy of the other people in the office, you should shut that down. I'm watching this on the damn YouTube sir, 900 sir. times a day. This, this. You're, you're a public servant, ma'am. I don't need your permission. You are in violation of the okay? Uh, there is no defense to a charge of criminal trespass that you're on the property of a public entity that is asked. I generally don't give my information out um, unless I'm legally obligated to do so. In this particular case, I am not legally obligated to do so. I hate to say it, um, we often expose bad cops. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our rights to take photos and videos in public and in publicly accessible areas, and also to annoy a few people who think I'm impersonating Sean Paul Reyes. No, man, it's a tribute. Chill, man, chill. Anyways, uh, here we go. Let's rock and roll. This is the BMV in uh, was it Gahanna, Ohio. You really shouldn't have to wait in line. I mean, they call your number. Like, I just showed on the screen there. It said, now serving whatever. So, yeah, I don't... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me for a second. I'm stepping in the other room, just getting some footage from this shot aside. That is not an exit. There's a restroom, though. Okay, all right, all right. Well, I was just looking to see what was back here, if there was a hallway back there or whatever. I'm trying to stay out of the way. That's what I'm trying to do. Out of the way. Out of the way. So what's the show? What's that? What's the show? Oh, just uh, get a little. Uh... Oh, I'll be frankly, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe me if I told you, but. <coughs> So I just get a little footage of the of the the BMV. It's so hard to say BMV. It's a DMV everywhere else, but you get called the the uh, the BMV, which I find interesting. But uh, nothing exciting. I'll be out of here in a few minutes. Thank you. What's you guys, the vision? You guys run a tight ship here, don't you? I'll be honest with you. The, the, the vision is. I'll go ahead and tell you. I'm scouting a property for the next Quentin Tarantino movie, and he wants to make sure everybody at the oh, local wait. BMV is oh, uh, is chill. I'm telling oh, you, that's that's why I didn't tell you because you wouldn't believe me. Would you believe I'm shooting a uh, doing an article for Ebony Magazine on the latest city in America, and this is definitely not it, which is good. That's just good. <laughs> hey, that's my name, Michael. So did you contact the BMB headquarters to find out if it's okay for you to come in and shoot in here? I did not. Well, let's just shut it down then until you get permission from the Bureau to be here. I'll be honest with you, the, the Bureau does not override my First Amendment rights. So if the Bureau said you, your you First Amendment today? doesn't apply... Are you here today as a customer? Are you in need of some licensing today? I am not in any need in the, of any assistance from you today, no. All right. Well, I think that in the interest of the privacy of the other people in the office, you should shut that down. You know, we're in, we're in public, though, right? You realize this is a public place? It's a, uh, I, I state, aid, that, a state agency? I understand that, that I have a lease on this space and that I pay for the use of this space, and you're not renting any space from me, so I'm asking you to shut it down. Sir, so the First Amendment applies in here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave me alone. 
or, or if you feel I'm here illegally, then I would well, encourage I'm, I'm, you. I'm not an attorney, okay. but I think it would be courteous of you to shut that camera down in respect for the other customers in this office. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about it, ma'am? I watched this on the damn YouTube sir, nine sir, hundred times a day. This, this isn't illegal. Go away and do your job. Go on. Scram. Scram. Do your job. So you're telling me how to do my job. I'm encouraging you to do your job. I'm not telling you how to do it. Thank you. I'm encouraging you to do your job. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. It's been a pleasure. we got a little more work to do. Gehanna, please. Hello, Mike Malone calling. Gehanna, license agency. How can I, I help have you, a sir? Gentleman, I have a gentleman that's come into the office and set up a camera and a tripod, and he's just filming inside the office and feels it's within his rights to do that, and I've asked him to shut it down and leave. He's not here as a customer. He's just here as a voyeur. I suggested in the privacy and in the interest of the other customers in the office, he should shut it down and leave. Okay. And um, just confirming this is 15 Agler, yeah, correct? Right. He's what just he insisting that it's within his rights to do this. What's he look like? Well, now I'm looking in the corner of the room, and perhaps he has wandered off. Still here. He's still here? Well... He's wearing a wearing a like a ski cap and a gray T shirt and with a bunch of cameras around his neck and a tripod set up Female by my exit. Oh, okay. uh, white goatee, eyeglasses. Okay, hold on just a second for me. All right, Mike. Sorry about that. Um, has he been <laughs> physically combative with anyone, or is he just no. refusing to leave? Okay. He's just he's just a nuisance. Okay, he's, I'll get. He said I'll get he, he said he's. He said he's scouting the location for the next Quentin Tarantino movie. Okay, I will have officers head over that way. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. You know, they can't throw you out because they don't like the color of your shirt or because you have a camera. They can't throw you out there. Now, McDonald's can. McDonald's could throw you out for any reason whatsoever. They don't care. It's a private company. But this is not a private business. Sir, you don't have to Yes, yes, I do. It's the First Amendment, ma'am. I do have, I do have permission. Oh, it's, it's too late, ma'am. I already did. It's, it's the First Amendment. I have permission. I'm sorry. You're, you're a public servant, ma'am. I don't need your permission in public to take your photograph. I'm sorry. I'm not a public servant. I'm not a public servant. You are. You are. Uh, all right. Call the police on the man with the camera. Why, so, why, why are you taking our pictures? So call more men with cameras and guns. Let's see how that goes. You didn't answer my question. Why are you taking our pictures? Why am I taking your picture? Well, I'll be frank with you. I can't see you right now, so I'm not taking your picture. But thank you for asking. Pictures of the, of the inside. It's, it's because I can. God bless America. Okay, because I can. No, I well. The question. I, I answered the question because the, if I told you the truth, ma'am, you wouldn't believe me. So I don't bother telling the truth. Yeah, I'll I'm scouting this location for the next Quentin Tarantino movie, and Mr. Tarantino wants to know if the people in this area are chill. Is that the truth? Are you telling the truth? I mean, you ask. See, I tell. You, that's why I don't tell people the truth. I tell them the truth, and they don't believe me. So there you go. Tell Mr. Tarantino the gals on the left are not chill. Yeah, they're working on his last film. Is this for his last film? Because I know he's uh, he's got a lot of film than he's out. He's going to retire. So that's cool. They're going to be part of this last film. No, I don't know about that. I'm just scouting the location. Definitely nothing malicious. Okay, I'm serving. I have work to do. Get my good side down. <laughs>
You know, from here, all I see is good sight. <laughs> Good. How are you? Hi. You're here to talk to me? Yeah. May I ask what your name is? Officer McDougal. McDougal. Nice to meet you. Mike. All right. Um, if you don't mind, can we talk outside real quick? Just right outside the door. I don't want to disrupt their business. That's why I want to talk to you. I'll be frank with you, Officer McDougal. I am in the middle of a project right now, mm -hmm. and I very much do want to talk quietly. I, I fear if I walk out of this office. I will not be allowed to walk back in because they will lock the doors. It's okay. happened before, and I have every right to be in here. Um, I'm not bothering anybody other than people that freak out about cameras, even though they have cameras watching us. Mm -hmm. It's a public place, and I told the gentleman, you know, I was very polite to, I'm just minding my own business, getting a little B-roll footage for, for a story I'm working on. I'll be out of here shortly. I'm, I'm not. I'm not disrespecting anybody. I'm not being rude. I'm just chatting with with uh, customers in here and stuff. Very pleasant. Um, okay. But it's it's it is a, a state run facility, and it is legal to be in here taking photographs. Have and they asked you to leave? Though. They have not asked me to leave. And if they did, uh, it would be well. They, they don't have the right. I mean, it's like. If I walk into this, the, the county clerk's office and I have a camera, they can't ask me to leave the county clerk's office because I have a camera. This isn't McDonald's. It's a public, it's, it's a state entity. Mm -hmm. So McDonald's could ask me to leave for taking pictures. They could. The BMV can't ask me to leave for taking photographs. It's, it's just, they can't. They, they're not authorized to do so. And their higher-ups have made it very clear in memos to them People can take pictures in the BMV. It's it's a public facility. Now, if there is somebody here that is authorized and willing to sign a no trespass order saying we want this man trespassed in our office, I absolutely will. One hundred percent. I don't want to. I'm not going to stay if I'm not legally entitled to stay. So, in this particular case, though, I'm very much legally entitled to stay here. I I should have told them. If you're going to call the authorities, you might want to call the feelings enforcement and not law enforcement because I'm not breaking any laws. So, and the gentleman around that, and he's a nice guy, Michael, he's around the corner there, big tall guy. You know, I tried to explain to him, I'm in public. I'm sorry if you don't like, and, and I know full well why this particular BMV is, is not fond of cameras. They have a lengthy history of... And we're running a story on it, and they don't like that. So I understand. That know, I did not know. I always, <laughs> this this yeah. BMV has a lengthy history of. I do want to go in order of things first of all. Um, <laughs> you did bring up something about a written notice of trespass and everything like that. Yeah. If it ended up going that way, I do want to let you know because sometimes people get a little upset by it. Mm -hmm. What we can do is we can end up providing a copy of a report number for you. We don't provide written copies or um, we don't provide written copies of trespasses. It's the only notification to you and it gets documented. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So just so you know, if it ended up going that way, sure, sure. a lot of people yeah. turn around and demand to pay for speed. We don't have a yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, I'm not telling you that's the way that we're going to go, but just to save that hassle. I understand. Well, I appreciate you. And this is Officer McConkey. McDougal and McConkey? Yep, I like it. Um, you know, I do not have an idea. I mean, I'll be frank with you. I typically don't report my unless I am just a committed crime. So, so generally, yeah, I do not forfeit my idea unless I'm uh, committing a crime or accused of committing a crime. Um, what may end up happening, though, is if they determine that they at least want you to leave, um, we can ask for you to leave. Okay. And it's on our request that that isn't done. It does turn into when you get in trouble. Sure, sure. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, so yeah. If, if it comes down that he has the authority yeah. to ask All I would ask is if it comes to it where you guys decide, yeah, you know, we're going to ask this man who's not breaking the law to yeah. leave. I would respectfully request that you guys run it past the supervisor and make sure I believe that would be a blatant violation of the Constitution. So we recommend that whoever 
has the authority and they have, and I'm not saying they, but Florida has the authority to trespass. We ask each time that they do. So obviously, you know what I mean? That would be a trespass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then they're putting themselves, then they're, then they're themselves in legal jeopardy in case they're actually not the, uh, the authorized person. Exactly. So um, if we verify that they have legal authority to at least ask you to leave and potentially trespass you, then obviously it goes into call. But again, they get entered into a call. There's questions about it later. You can always follow up and say, so and so that worked for the BMP is the one that said that I believe. You know, understandable. Understandable. I appreciate that. So, I appreciate you being quiet. Yeah, and two things. I am pretty, pretty quick here. It's, it, it's what, when he said he's calling the authorities, I'm like, it took me for a lot of them time by now. But it's like, well, if you're calling the authorities, well, I'm not going to stick around. I'm the not going to run from the them. least grease wheels of machinery. I don't, I don't run, from the, run from the cops. So if yeah. you're calling police, I'll stick around. I got no problem with that. I'm not going to lie. When I, I, I walked up and I saw you the windows and I saw you walking this way, I thought you were leaving too. I'm like, well, look at that. <laughs> no, problem solved. <laughs> Oh. What was your first answer? Just so Mike. 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 Yes. Are you a private contractor? Or I am no. an I am an independent journalist. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And you're saying, and can you tell me again the reason why the, the proprietor of the business, the, the person who runs this place, the man it's, who, 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 who this is a this, yeah. this building. So he's like the building manager. Probably, I don't know what his association is with the BMB. Is essentially well, the, is the, the last BMB I went to. The gentleman said, um, "It's making our com customers feel c uncomfortable. We don't, we don't want them here. But there's no legal ground for it. I mean, the difference is it's a state entity. It's not a private entity. So McDonald's could say, we don't like the color of your shirt. So Out of here.' Ask you a question: If one of these individuals here does not consent to being to do, like, it's, I, I, you're yeah. a professional. Sure, right? sure." Where does the professional courtesy weigh in versus what the individual wants? Now, I'm not saying honestly. Not I always blur out faces of kids. I don't. I don't show kids, um, and I guess you know it kinda, it's kind of a case by case basis. Honestly, one person's hand to me. Oh, do me a favor, will you? I don't want my wife knowing I'm here. If this thing goes online, she sees me. I'm like, I got you, brother. Don't worry about it. So, I mean, I do take people's you know you privacy realize, into consideration. Do you realize people are giving their personal information on the counter? Like you've renewed your Yeah, business, but I mean, right? not like I can see it from here. I mean, it's just an iPhone. If you pulled out your iPhone and aimed Could it you have here. A microphone, right? Yeah, I'm but yeah, it's, it's not very, not very, it's pretty crappy. Is there, really. is there a chance that you're capturing other people's personal identifying information? You're based on, based on past experience, I'm going to say absolutely not. It's, I can't, so in like fact, I wish, I wish I could hear conversations at the counter here because there's been many times where I'm sitting across the room and they're talking about me and I'm like, I wonder what they're saying, but no, I, I can't hear any of that. It's, I mean, if you were to pull out a cell phone and take a video recording here, you would see what I'm talking about. Not only can you not zoom in and see close things, but you really can't hear much of anything either. Unless somebody's like standing right here next to me. Boom. Uh, it's... So, between you and me, I plan on, I plan on leaving probably within three minutes after the police leave. Why I am a journalist and it is a, it's, it's an integrity issue. Mm -hmm. I, I will not be pushed out of a public place because they don't like my cameras. Honestly. I have no doubt that this particular BMB does not like cameras and, and for a very good reason, they don't like cameras here. So. I understand, and if I was an employee here, I probably wouldn't want my actions recorded either. These guys. The, this BMB, collectively speaking, Michael. The, uh, I had you're 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 wearing a gun and a badge. I have no doubt they are very friendly towards you. <laughs> Why is that? I, because you're the That's police. Really funny because, because if you were to pull public opinion right now, what would you say? Consensus oh, is? I agree. I I think most people. I think so how, I think police. You're saying this is an out. I, I because because they're hoping you guys are going to throw me out, so they're going to be very friendly towards you. And, and like I said, if somebody wants to sign a no trespass order, I'm out of here. Um, there's, no, there's no documentation. No, because well, there's no law. I mean, you know, well, I wanted. There's a law. I, I, I told you I, the documentation. I, I wanted to be a police law. officer when I was a kid, and I'll tell you why. Because. It's kind of a cool job if you ask me because you guys get a go around, you meet new people every day, and you enforce the law. So all I would ask is, 
What law are you guys enforcing here today? What law? What, well, what, the, what, the proprietor of the business called us and said that you were here recording people. The, the state employee. So if that proprietor has the well, authority to that. eject me from so this no, building, no. Then, then I will leave. I, I absolutely respect the, the rule of law. And if that man can legally say, I don't want this man in this office solely based on the fact that I have a camera, how about we do this? It, it, I will give Officer McConkie 60 seconds to answer that question that you asked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, What's if, if I'm, question? if I'm breaking the law, I don't want to be. So if he's saying you're in violation of the law, I want you to leave and, and I'm not leaving. If that's a violation of law, I would leave. I don't need to trouble. Yes, please. Um, would it be, do you expect the police officer to act professionally? Absolutely. Because I claim to be professional. Sure. That means that I need to treat people courteously and respectfully. Would you agree with that? I would, I would agree with that. professional journalist, right? Uh, professional photojournalist? I think so, yes. Yes. Do you feel that you're being courteous and respectful with the request of the proprietor of the business? Absolutely. The proprietor of this business, this business is a state-run facility. There is no expectation of privacy but, in the BMV. The, the reason I'm here is because the lack of courteousness and and professionalism from the these audio. people I, I, I don't need i don't need audio yeah, yeah audio is not really Im important it's just the fact that they're freaking out over a camera speaks volumes it really does it's just what it comes down to is this i'm not breaking the law i'm standing out of the way i'm not bothering anybody that that, that you know that the law would be able to step in and say, you need to stop doing this because it's bothering this person. My mere presence with a camera is not a legal ground to be tossed out of a state agency. It just isn't. I got it. So uh, when I showed up here, you made your first statement about it being a public place and whether state agency. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a very complex legal question, right? It, it can be. I know, because, like, for example, this is leased property. The, the, the state actually leases this property. So technically, it's not even the state's property. But then once you lease the property, then it becomes... Give me, give me a couple minutes. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do a little legwork. I'm going to do a little research. Um, if anything, I'll reach out to our state prosecutor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my supervisor is on his way. So, and we'll, we'll go from there. And if, you're, if we can't determine, we're doing anything. Like, once again, I'm sure. So yeah, yeah. And, and, and then... And, and then you know, we're not we are trying to re sure, sure. resolve it civilly, but you are unwilling to be civil about that. So, well, I'm being civil. Well, I, I just disagree. We, I respectfully that's, that's disagree. Yeah. And, and guess what? We can't enforce, sure. can't enforce anything. Well, I, you're, you're law enforcement, not feelings enforcement. So I, I very much understand and respect that. And, and yeah, you know, make so some phone calls and we'll have you. And, minutes and we'll see what I can chat. Okay. And, and for what it's worth, once you guys leave, my plan is to be out of here within three minutes. Let these folks know. Please didn't run me out of here. I have every right to be here. It is it is essentially state property. It's a state business. I have every right to be here. When the police leave, the first couple after minutes. the police leave, then I leave. Okay. So, yeah. Let, um, let me see if you are in violation of the law. Thank you. I didn't speak with the employees. You said that no one had to ask you to leave. They did not ask me to leave. One gentleman asked me to stop taking photographs. Okay. You can't have a camera in here. Okay. I'm not sure you can. Uh, the First Amendment definitely applies in, in this office. <laughs> so it's just silly to say that you, you can't leave. You, you can't take photographs in a in a public place. I agree with that. So you also have to understand the kind of people that end up dealing with. I'm not saying that you're that person, yeah, yeah. but you know, I mean, someone comes in here, truly the causing trouble with phones and everything. Oh yeah. I, I, I give them this much. You go to journalists, how many times have you been recording someone or something like that and someone says, hey, can you stop? All the time. <laughs> We get it all, all the time. time. So it's like, well, like, you know, it's kind of like they don't. The, the fact is, I mean, the police can be recorded, and the police can be recorded. The BMB can be recorded. They just don't like it. The police are more used to it. You guys are used. People pull cameras out on you guys all the time. And people, when we're out on calls, you understand that. Like, let's, say, let's say, just for not anyone inside the building, someone outside right now also like, walks in and starts filming the building. Like, mm -hmm. We're in a public place. Yeah. We're allowed to film. You know what I mean? So, or at least if we were staying outside, we're in a public place. We're outside. Yeah. I don't have any privacy standing outside. In sure. Park. So, we get a lot of people all the time that will walk up, walk on scene with someone, and they'll just be staying in their video before. Right. And so they say, hey, you need to stop. It's like, no, well, you don't need to stop. They, you're in a public place. Yeah. But people don't like it. Yeah. So that's where, no matter what comes up today, at least just understand that and remain. Sure. 
Cooperative, I guess? Sure, absolutely. Cooperative courteous. Absolutely. Yeah, I've got a brother in well, kind of had a brother in law enforcement. He is deceased now, but yeah, I get it. You know, um, everybody's trying to do their jobs. These guys are just a little paranoid. You guys are doing your job. You get a call, you got to show up. But they also got all the personal information, like Officer McConkey said, you know, and, and everybody immediately goes that way. Yeah, it's a they, always, they always go that way, I guess. You can it really is paranoid. Like if you think about it, no, we can't see anybody's private information. Nobody can see any private information. Well, you know technology anymore. Anyway. No. I mean, who's to say that that iPhone isn't the greatest camera that's ever been created? To me, it looks like an iPhone before all I know. Okay. Nice. You know what I mean? It is. It's a nice phone. Actually, I probably have more luck with this thing. I, I was just thinking about that. I probably have more luck with this. And zoom in. Even this, like that sign there on the wall there. The would you help one? I literally, I think I can read the larger headline. Would you like to help with that? Concern services or that I can read, but like all the small print, I can't read any of that stuff. Even the thing at the very top, the very, very top line, what does that say? It starts with a. I can read that. This is what I was understanding. The only, so, the only reason I'm bringing it up is I always like to try and point out both sides of the argument. Sure, yeah, sure. I, mean, I understand your side, but whether or not, and don't get me wrong, I believe you being absolutely confident person. You understand their side of the argument. But, yeah. So like, yes. It's, it's, not, it's definitely not my first rodeo. I've, I've, unfortunately, with what I do, I've been... I had the police called on me a few times. Hello. Where, uh, where are you from, even just state-wise? From Ohio? Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina? All right. Is it like a travel thing, or have you been in Ohio for a while? Um, I have been in Ohio for a while, but yeah, I am kind of traveling around the, traveling around the country. I'll be back in, be back in Greenville. Jeez, what is it? Today's the 22nd? Yes, 23rd. 23rd. I'll be back in Greenville in less than a week. Um, I'm going to be staying and popping through uh, Kentucky, I think. Uh, stay in the Kentucky for a day or two and then go on to Greenville. So, yeah, kind of all over. But but originally, yeah, Greenville, South Carolina. What is it you kind of do with your work? Is it, um, I know you say you're independent, but is it almost for someone? Do you get, like... I don't necessarily know how independent journalism works. So that someone say, hey, we want someone to do this. So you basically picked up the job or like, how does that work? You know, occasionally you can have somebody buy footage. Believe it or not, there's, there's, there's demand out there for just about anything. For example, if you're online and you're like, I want some footage of a, of a line at the DMV. You could go online to many services out there and type in line at DMV. And there would be photographs and possibly even video of a line at the, at the DMV, or in this case, BMV. Um, and uh, so that's one way to do it. Another way is if I come into the post office to get a little, you know, little B-roll footage and, and, they, and they lose their minds and they call the police and they act like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, breaking in to steal the Colonel's secret recipe. Um, then it goes from being, you know, just run-of-the-mill B-roll footage that maybe somebody will buy for $10 to, uh, to a video that has millions of views because, uh, because the post or the, uh, the DMV, BMV employees are, you know, overreacting and they call the police. Quite frankly, sometimes the police overreact too. Well, I've, I've had police very adamant, yep, yep, you, you are breaking the law. I said, well, if I'm breaking the law, so it's not even, I'm trespassing in the leave, it's you're telling me I'm breaking the law right now. Why are you telling me and not just arresting me? Give me a citation. Let's, let's talk, more action. If I'm breaking the law, give me a citation or arrest me or leave me alone. <laughs> and they hate that, but it's true. It's like, come on, you're, you're law enforcement. You're not feelings enforcement. So no matter how these people feel, if I'm not here making a scene, you know, I mean, just my, my mere appearance makes a scene for some of these folks, but that's not enough to warrant tossing a person out of a state-run building or a state-run state business just because they don't like it. Um, one guy at a post office in Athens, Ohio, told me, um, and he told the police, um, he called me a YouTube sensation and said on the 911 call, ah, I got some YouTube sensation in the post office, and he told the police that uh, this guy just wants to put me on the internet and, and it's not really good. so yeah, he said uh, this this guy uh, wants to put me on the internet and 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 I don't I don't want any part of that. And it's like oh, it's a feeling thing. You you, just, you you don't like the idea of being on the internet. 
then you shouldn't be a public employee. <laughs> I mean, you were in the post yeah. office. He was a postmaster. Yeah. So, I don't know. I give him that much. I've been on the side. And you were hard, like, like, clearly, you, you already hit the nail on the head. Police are subject to all of it. So, I'm just all of it. But I don't know what other employees, you know what I mean? Like, let's say, working on a clerk's office. You're not necessarily going to have the ability to walk into someone's office and just start taking no, photos. No, no, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, you like can't walk into people's like private offices and stuff like that. And there's obviously things, you know, yeah. authorized personnel only. Right around that corner, it says, I think, authorized personnel only on another door. You know, obviously, I wouldn't even touch the handle, let alone go inside. Yeah. How long have you been a cop? Five years. Five years. Yeah, I, I did. I wanted to be a cop when I was a kid. Um, Down in and, and, uh, Actually, I lived in California at the time. Um, but the uh, a big part of the reason I didn't is because it seemed to me the older I got, and I'm sure you, you, you probably have seen this, the older I got, it seemed like the less and less respect people had for law enforcement. Um, same with attorneys. My mother wanted me to be an attorney, and I like attorney. They're like those car sales. I mean, nobody, people don't respect attorneys. Uh, and it's sad, but it's getting that way with with police now. There's at least a semi-controlled courtroom for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's tough. I mean, you guys got a, got a tough job because you know, fifty. I mean, I don't know what the stats are, but I think fifty percent of the people love you. Fifty percent of the people hate you, and you got no way, like, no way of knowing which is which until yeah. you. Tell you anyway. I'd like to believe that over 60% of the people like us, some amount don't like us. I, I would And a small, very vocal, or very active amount yeah. hate us. Yeah. In fact, um, literally just yesterday, I was at a BMV in over by the uh, Highway Patrol training center at Alum Road or something or other. And um, they called the police on me. I, a, a trooper showed up, and we all had a good chat and all that. And, and they agreed, you know, you're, you're not you're not doing anything you're illegal. You just they just don't like you filming. But you know, it's it's not against the law. Yeah. So uh, they they left, but um, and left me alone. I did the same thing with them. I told them, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm out of here since so you guys are. You guys take off. So when I see your cars drive away, make it clear to these folks. I didn't leave because the police are here. I'm leaving because I'm done. And and it's just I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's taking back a little bit of our power from the government. Perhaps I don't know. You know, the Uncle Ham, Uncle Sam steps in and tries to take some of our rights. In some cases, they are successful. Our last president referred to the free press as the enemy of the people. Which my father, my father won his newspaper a Pulitzer Prize in Florida, 1962. No, and the thought of the thought of uh, of referring to the free press as the enemy of the people, the president of the United States, is the most disturbing thing I think I ever saw during that entire administration. The, he called ABC News, NBC News, CBS News, CNN, and the New York Times. And, 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 well, he's attacking Fox now. Now he attacks Fox. So he, he just yeah, he's he's. All right, what did so, find out? You are in violation of okay? Uh, there is no defense to a charge of criminal okay, trespass so. that you're on the property of a public entity that is asked you to leave. But they haven't asked me to leave. Mr. Malone says he's told me. So the person who called us he said he's take, talked to you twice. He asked me not take a photo. Well, he's asking you to leave now. So okay. I'm acting right. as his agent. So. Okay. All right. I respect that then. Okay. And do you have his name? I, I, can I? Actually, if you don't mind, can I see your ID? Um, so... Are you saying that I uh, that I am in violation of a law? You saying yeah, that so I'm violating the law? Yeah. So the minute that he tells you that you need to leave, but he didn't. He didn't. I have it on video. I have it on video. He said. Can you show me? Yeah, I probably could actually, but but then I have to stop this. I'll tell you what. I'll have to, I'll have to step outside. Because otherwise, concerns right? you were recording as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. I, but yeah, if you're saying he didn't tell you to leave, yeah, then you're not in violation. Okay. You know what? In that case, then, I am going to stop this once. All right, folks. Because Deputy Registrar Michael Malone of the Gahana, Ohio, BMV blatantly lied through his teeth to the police and told them that he told me to leave the building, I had no choice, honestly, but to show this cop my footage to prove that Michael Malone is a goddamn liar.
to not shut my camera down. I haven't broken any new laws here and I don't have my driver's license on me anyways, but even if I did, unless I'm in blatant violation of law, I would not typically hand over my driver's license. Well, at this point, he's asked us on, on his behalf to have you. Sure, I understand. And and I and I have left. And so, do you see, did you get his name so I can contact his, his people? I mean, I need to know who it is that's asking me to leave. Did you give him a call number? Not yet, I haven't gotten it or anything like that. I got it ready to go. Yeah. Would you I like just, a call number? I just like the, well, you know what? Well, here's the thing. I'll be, I'll be, can I ask you a question? Why argue. should I provide his information to you? Well, he's a public servant. Uh, but I don't have any reason to ask him for his information, do I? Yeah, I understand. But I can get it. His name is Michael, and he, he runs this place. So I, it will not be difficult for me. I'm to sure you can get it yeah. because it's public. But yeah, I generally don't give my information out um, unless I'm legally obligated to do so. In this particular case, I am not legally obligated to do so. So, uh, yeah, I'm out of there, and I'm not going back in there. I'll file a complaint with the state. And, and yeah, we're talking to the PR, like you said sure, at the sure. very beginning of the video. Yeah. Well, I'll that's the it. PR, they they PR want office. me to talk to the PR because they don't want to deal with them themselves. So he doesn't want you to come back. Sure, sure. sure. Okay. Uh, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Pleasure, sir. Mike Norton? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, I am definitely out of there, and... Um, I'm assuming I'm legal to be outside, right? There's no problem being outside? Mm -hmm. Proper. So. Proper. So, yeah, it's basically against the parking lot or that part of the sidewalk that is outside mm -hmm. the BMP's mm -hmm. leased property. Sure. So, what, what, uh, what film are you guys looking for? What's that? What film are you scouting for? Um, well, uh, I can't get into any details as far as the purpose of the report. The purpose of the recording. Oh, I'm just a movie fan. Yeah. Um, there's a, there are multiple reasons why I'm doing this recording, and that is just one of many. So, do you have any journalism credentials? I'll be honest with you. I'll so be I'm willing to press, bet you. Press I'd be willing to bet you you wouldn't even know what that looks like. Probably not. I you could make something up that says laminated and has my picture on it. And says do you press. Have something like that? I, I do have press credentials. I do not have them on me because I generally don't identify myself. What outlet do you report for? Uh, I, I can't reveal that until after I'm done here because it could... Uh, it, it, I'll tell you what. So the, hey, the reporting part of it is not, it's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. That's, that's, you're free to do that. Sure. They just don't want you back in the business. They don't want you. And so, to be clear, so, so can they... Th throw anybody out of this business for anything because I mean I feel like my my constitutional rights are being violated so here today is he, what it is. The space. For he, the state. He's the proprietor of the business. He can refuse. But the, the state does though. The state he, leases this. He is operating this. He is the agent of this business. Okay. okay. So it's the same thing if you went to McDonald's. Yeah but it's not though. It's McDonald's it. is a private company. A private business. Correct. He's the owner of this but he is but an he, agent of the state. Okay. So nah, we'll is, we'll have to agree to disagree. Okay. I, I respect your, your so, uh, stance on that. But yeah, it's, just, it's wrong. He just doesn't want you coming back in. He doesn't want you disrupting his business. I understand. I understand. Okay. I understand. 
Yeah, he well, doesn't want cameras in here is what he what he doesn't want. That's it. It's it's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'll uh, you know my battle's not with you guys. I'll I'll file a complaint with the BMB and right. and get that overturned and then come in here and, and and teach him a lesson that he can't have me tossed out. It just he can't. It's not McDonald's. It's not Burger King. He can't have it his way. He can't. Um, so it is what it is. I, I understand that that what I do. You know, it, it, think of it as a news version of paparazzi, I guess you could say. And I get some people don't like paparazzi. You know, Donald Trump hated the press. Hated the press. Um, there's a reason why what, what certain... Have you said video? Uh, you, could, you could view it online, I would say, July 5th. I would say no later than July 6th. If you went online, the YouTube on July 6th or later and type in... I'm sorry, what was the URL again? I just, I, I won't give you the URL, but if you went to YouTube when you type in... Gahana Police. How do I find it? BMV? Just do a search on YouTube for Gahana Police BMV. Um, you could throw in uh, hashtag First Amendment Audit, which is far less threatening than the Second Amendment audits. Well, Ohio's a constitutional state, so it's not it's not big of an issue yeah. as it used to be. Because, quite frankly, anyone in the state of Ohio can be constitutional state. Yeah, but what's disturbing is when these people walk into a Walmart with an AK-47 strapped over the shoulder because they can't. Well, no different than anyone exercising their first amendment. No, no, it's very different because my camera, you know, nobody dies when I shoot them. <laughs> so nobody dies I don't think anybody's fearful for their them. safety when they see a camera come out. You see a guy walk into a Walmart with an AK-47, you That's immediately true. think... Is this guy Perception's gonna... a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's just not dangerous. My A camera is not dangerous other than for the information it disseminates. The information that'll disseminate about this particular BMB is, is not favorable, not favorable. Um, Where do you pull your resources from? Like, how did you, who took you off? Um, the internet. The internet? Yeah, That's you, do, you do a, a, a pretty vague search of BMBs in Ohio and you find out who the good ones are and who the bad hey, ones are. Can you, how, let me ask you this. Um, is there a BMB where it's not that way? Where, where it's not what? That way. No. What are the best BMB? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, hang on. Probably like, not. What is the best BMB in Brickman County in terms of line and service? The best BMB to go to? In terms of complaints that you're saying? I haven't been enough to give an honest answer on that. I, I, I couldn't give an educated answer on that because I, I just haven't been enough of that. I hate to base it on just, just two or three of them. What are some of the worst? This one? This one? Based on? The fact that my, 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 my constitutional rights just got violated. And, and you helped. I'll be honest with you. Um, Which constitutional right is that? I, I, I took a pull out with Mike and I the way out. So, my name is... Oops, there you go. Here, let, me, let me get over here. Get a better shot there. Boom. So, my name is Mike Norton. You're free to go. My, I understand. Know. My name is we're Mike Norton. Not hindering or preventing... I understand. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Mike Norton, and I am with KUFT News. And uh, we... Uh, I hate to say it, um, we often expose bad cops. So I'm not going to say that McConkey and Mc, McDougal are bad cops, but the two of you just became feelings in person not long ago. The laws are broken in here. But I understand, I understand your point of view, and this man's saying, no, oh, I'm like, I'm like keeping you from walking away or not. You're, I'm, you're I'm keeping, this from, you're keeping me from point. being inside the BMV. Well, like the proprietor of the business is and the, the, Let me ask you this, but if the, the, proprietor, the, the proprietor of the business sitting around in there, and he said I was allowed in yeah, there? Yeah. Well, he doesn't have a choice. It's, it's a BMB. He can't decide who can and can't come in this world. Can he turn this man away because he looks Muslim? He can't. Well, no, that's protected characteristics. And so is the First Amendment. Freedom of press. Did you ask every single person in here for the I don't have to. They're in public. I don't have to. I, I just don't have to. So I understand. If it was Burger King, it absolutely would so throw me out. I mean, want a camera. We don't want you in here. You don't care about other people. Because you called me the feeling. I, 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 and then you told me you lied to that individual. Um, I didn't tell you I lied. Yeah, no, that's exactly I, I, what I, I, I did not say I lied. Yeah, you lie. said you don't owe that individual the truth. I don't owe him the truth. So if you're not telling the truth, what are you doing? Documenting the being. That's a very good way to say it. I'm just saying it's not against the law. What I was doing, right. it's not against what the law. What I was doing in here is against the law. And, and when you show up to something like this, my opinion, when you show up to something like this, you should tell them. 
is, is he being disruptive? Is he, is he, is he yelling at people? Well, he, he did say you had to be disruptive. Yeah, he's lying. Hey, when you saw the video, I was talking well, nicely. I have it on video. I have it on video. Well, well, I have it on video that you just told me, me that you lied. Oh, yeah, because you don't but it's not against the law. The so who's, it is against the law to throw somebody who, out of a public So who's trustworthy then if the parties are lying? The person with the camera that documents everything they have. There you go. There you go. So your camera will then show you that they have rights by by throwing me out of a public building for having a camera. So I can go back in. Wait. So you tell me I can go back in? No, the proprietor of the business is not true. So to be clear, I walk back in this business, I would be arrested for trespass. No, only if the proprietor of the business wanted to charge. Wait, wait. So he hasn't actually signed a trespass. He doesn't have to sign a trespass. He doesn't have to sign a trespass. Can I have to trespass? So, what's a trespass? Can you explain that legal document to me? You know, the last time I had police try to throw me out of the building, they said, it was a post office, and they said, I said, did he sign a trespass? Because they said, well, he, he's, he's not, he doesn't want to sign a trespass order to have you trespass, but he doesn't want you out of the building. I think that's having signed a trespass order. I'm not well, so I, mean, I have every right to be. I don't think people want to be on civil terms. I, I don't think, think everything. I, so, in my line of I have every right to be in the building, and I've just been tossed out illegally. Illegally tossed out. What do you mean tossed out? I was. Come on. What do you mean tossed out? McConkey. I was right. asked well, to leave. I was asked here. to toss, leave toss, the B and B. Toss is a different. Okay. Kind of all right. When did I attack you? I was asked to leave a B and B where okay. I have every legal right to be. I have every right to be in this building, and I was asked to leave, and I can't go back in, or I will be charged with trespass. Is but that not the case? If the proprietor wants to charge you, yeah. So. so my understanding, and let me, let me explain my understanding, okay? Am I a lawyer? I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Okay. Do you know how complicated and complex the law is? Oh, yes. Do you, do you agree to that? Very much so. Yes. So, so, you know that the law is complex. You but it's also black. You know that I'm... It's you, also usually black and white. It, it is. Like this. Oh. It, 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 you know like anything about the law, you know that it is not black and white. It's black and white against like this. Then Am I breaking the law? No. Then leave me alone. For charges is, and how many of these cases can be dismissed? Like this. But what's the what's if, if a couple of calls and file charges? Uh -huh. All right, mm -hmm. the case reaches court. So the burden of proof is upon the prosecution. Yeah. The reason for that, you know. So why do cases get dismissed? Then? Because uh, if it's, if it, if it's, if it's either you're either here in the black or you're here in the white. Usually it's because wiser heads prevail and somebody realizes they don't have a case. Discretion. They, or, they don't or, have enough evidence. Or discretion. Like, for example, when I, when I stop someone for speed, I'm not going to take someone for more than an hour. You know what? Right? The law says black people. You can't. When it comes to speed, right? Yeah. I mean, do you think that'd be fair, though? If I was just like, you know, you're more than an hour. It'd be pretty, pretty angry dinner. Yeah. I would yeah. agree. So, and, and no different than someone here. Unfortunately, what they appreciate and what's legal are two different things. I'm not breaking any laws here. You so said, you we're, said we're, I wasn't. You said I was actually in violation of the law because he asked me to leave. I already showed oh, a video. He didn't ask me. Okay, so he never asked me to leave. He blatantly lied to you about it. It okay. happens all the time. Okay. He told me that. I come talk to you. You say that he didn't say that. You showed me a video to refute that. The, the small clip that you showed me, mm -hmm. you're right. I'm telling you that. Before you guys not, yeah, not including us. Yeah, Before yeah, you guys show. So I saw 15 seconds out of 10 minutes. That's pretty much it. That was awful. I mean, he, he didn't tell me. He simply didn't. Um, so. And I'm only taking words that he didn't say that before. Yeah. And like you said, if he didn't ask you to leave, you were not under the presumption that you had to leave at that point, yeah. right? When we showed up, he said, I don't want him here. He asked me to leave. He asked you to leave. And you left. Yeah. So, and now we're just going to have a consensual interview. Indeed, indeed. What other, what other questions have you sent to me? Um, just uh, just uh, uh, a hope that the next time you respond to a case like this, you ask yourselves, is a man breaking the law? The answer is no. Well, then leave him alone. Hey, Mike, what, what do you think I did when I walked in and talked to you? Right? Is that unreasonable? Do you ask me to leave the place and you should pull it? In my opinion, you should pull Mike alone there. So I'm going to step right over here. You guys, I mean, I, I'm not leaving. I'm just stepping right over here and getting some more footage. I'll talk to you some more. So, are, are you guys of the are you guys of the opinion that this spot right here is is 
is their property and if I'm standing here that I could be arrested? How do you think I, they do survey designs and plot designs? So I want to make sure. So hang on. If I came to your house and I said, hey, mm -hmm. like. I mean, it was my house. It'd be the whole driveway. It'd be the entire the entire driveway and, and everything. You I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. At my house, like, I don't have a fence or anything like that. No any hard border or, or lane or anything like that. Uh -huh. So I don't know. When I mow my grass, I don't know if I'm mowing my grass or my neighbor's grass, right? Yeah. And, and normally when, when we have to go out to those kind of calls, uh -huh. we uh, we basically tell people, like, it's a little bit of a civil issue. Like, we can't, you know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know As what you should have said here, so, honestly. And, and let me, that's for my own property, Mike, where I live. I and this is this, I don't know where the property line this is. This is a, it's a, a, business, it's a state business. It's a state business. This, this is what I remember. They can't throw me out of the clerk's office. So, if I go to the county clerk's office to take pictures, they can't throw me out of the clerk's office for having that? a camera. Absolutely. Go, All over America. Well, go, print, go down and take pictures. Oh, I definitely will. I definitely will. But so this it's is just. What I recommend, though, as far as going out from here, mm -hmm. it's something I explained some juveniles, especially like we have like little canaries that get juveniles that cause problems. We trespass and come to leave. And next year, another out on the back patio saying, pull them out inside. Yeah. And of course, it's still their patio. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, what I always tell them is just if you think that you're in the wrong, like this is the way that I put it, once again, we're not auditors for that, but I'd probably say maybe crossing that I, line. I believe if this, you is, a, think this is what we call you a. Get in trouble, just I, I think I this is a, I think it's a public easement. I think that this would be considered to be a public deal. sidewalk that anybody can walk deal. on. I actually agree with you on this one. The fair one, that's an easier example. Oh, kids, yeah, that's uh, bullshit. That's because it is dumb. So, this one, I'd actually agree with where you're at. You're not staying directly in front of the door, nothing like that. So that's all I'm saying is that um, just if you think that you could get in trouble as far as even leaving here and everywhere else you go, you go anywhere else and you get trespassed or somewhere to avoid you getting in trouble, I don't want obviously people yeah, calling yeah. us and sure, saying, sure. hey, he's back on our property. When you're standing where I am right now, it's like, well, this is the parking lot. And then, but next thing you know, you have contact with police. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So oh, I yeah. just beware on that. And if you think that you could ever end up getting in trouble on that kind of stuff, kind of think that through and... I mean, I, like I said, you're a competent Be person. safe, sir. Be safe. Hey, Mike. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Yeah. Just stay out of the business, okay. all right? Let me, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it. Since you guys are heading out now. Um, that'll blow. I already told you where I was. There you go. Yeah, look that up. The channel actually doesn't start until the 29th of June. June 29th. Um, I've got some pretty disturbing footage that I'll be posting the 29th, 30th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Um, cool. Probably one of the more disturbing ones is the adult probation and parole uh, in Columbus. Pfft, those guys will lose their freaking minds when you show up with the camera. <laughs> well, I'll be um, honest. I, I'm a public servant. I also recognize that it comes with my job. It doesn't mean I like it. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I don't like being scrutinized for just trying to do the right thing every day. When I come to work, I, I, I work only to live because if you ask Officer McDougal here, and he could attest to it, especially today, I'd love to be at home with my family. I would. This job's hard. It's unforgiving. People, no offense, much yeah. like yourself, will do anything to basically put me and my family out without doing anything. Yeah, yep, I agree. Because, I because agree. let me ask you this, Mike. Mm -hmm. If someone's unwilling to do my job across the America, mm -hmm. you think anyone's going to care? Well, about I, like, I wanted rights? to be, I used to want to be a cop, and then I, yeah, I, I, I told McDougal I changed my mind you're because not, you're not answering my question. Less respect for the police further. If, if no one is willing to do my job, uh -huh. do you think there's going to be anyone left up with any constitutional rights? Or do you think it would fall in the hand? You are familiar I, with the concept of I am. I am. I, I it's, think there will always it's, be people that are willing to be law enforcement. Um, yeah. We, we, we aspire to uh, what, what's ideals. Law enforcement and law enforcement or vigilanteism after we're gone? Um, oh, well, that, vigilanteism that is would definitely be it's worse. Correct. Would definitely be worse. But I mean, that's it. I'm, I'm just out here shoot, shooting pictures. My, my and, is, is that we're just, we're out here trying to do our job. It's, it's not easy. You know what it's Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially if you, like I said, at any time. Aspired to be in law enforcement, you realize that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I didn't get it. Also, you and I are not infallible. Yeah. For yeah. people. Just and that's people. why, honestly, I, I believe, I believe, Officer McConkey, that you guys made a mistake here today. That's my personal opinion, okay. and I'll take it up with the BMV folks and and take it the higher ups, and somebody will educate Michael that you're just, you're just, and wrong. hopefully someone will educate me, but my limited understanding, what I read in the state code, is Fair that there is no charge to the defense of criminal trespass if the proprietor wanted to pursue it. I don't. Like yeah. I said, you and I have already agreed that I'm not a lawyer. You and yeah. I have also already agreed that. I got you. Um, that the law is complex. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that humans are fragile. Officer McCarthy, have you ever been here for some of the videos they've been before? No. Nearby. It's unusual. And oh, now yeah. we end up maybe going to our prosecutor and saying, hey, what's the deal with this? I wish you would. It's it's seriously. I, I, wish, I wish you would. And in fact, and it's probably a stretch, I was going to say, 
on the slim chance if I gave you like my phone number, if there'd be any way you could reach out and say, you know, we we'll talk to the prosecutor. And he actually said, yeah, no, that was bullshit. And you guys shouldn't have actually tossed him out. I'll follow yeah. up with you. Um, I, I mean, I would love to know, honestly. I mean, this is what I knew for a living. And this is honestly first time I've ever, ever had law enforcement actually enforce it and say, you need to leave the building. It's never happened before. So this is the first. Uh, my phone number. It's 801-8675309. My name's Mike Norton, N O R T O N. Okay. So I yeah. can't tell you how soon I'll get. Oh yeah, there's no, there's no way. You gotta understand, Officer McDougal and I are right. not policymakers. Sure, sure. We're just. Yeah, I mean, if you can, you know, bounce it off the higher ups or whatever, and ask them. The prosecutor says, "So, what do you do in a situation where you got a guy in a in a, oh, sure. in a BMV or whatever, and he's taking pictures, standing in the corner, mind his own business, yeah. not yelling at people, you like that, not being disrespectful, or rude. He's just mind his own business, yeah. and can they can they throw him out? I'd be willing to bet a prosecutor would say, "What well, what are you charging him with? I mean, you, they a county clerk can't throw me out for taking pictures. Neither can the BMV. They just can't." They they did today well, because think, they. I don't, think, they, I don't think Mike said he was. Well, once he, he never said he was throwing me out, right? He says he wanted me to leave, and you guys. Well, place. he said he wanted you to oh, wait. So you're Shut saying down. he wanted you to. You leave. you guys are saying you no, guys no, are saying no, he told he, you he he wanted uh, me to. Okay, leave. I'm sorry, I'm confused. No, he didn't tell oh, me. You said he told no, you no, no, he told me he wanted me to shut okay, it down, right, shut right, it down. Right, so right. he asked you guys to ask me to leave, and it's like, yeah. why don't you just ask me yourself? I mean, first of all, he never did, and honestly, if he had, I would have said. You have no right to kick me out of here. I have every right to be in here. So, and, and there's a there's about a 99% chance that within the next 24 hours, there'll be another photographer, probably two or three or five, in this building taking pictures. He's going to learn a valuable lesson. You, to, you throw one journalist out of a public space, you just brought on a world of trouble. Uh, he's just going to have, I mean, you know, nobody's going to do anything bad. He's just going to have... You know, you throw one photojournalist out, they're replaced by two. You throw those two out, they're replaced by four. Big mistake. The the best thing that these guys should do in a case like this, honestly, just ignore me. Ignore me. I'm sitting here for 20 minutes, I get bored and I leave. I hope you understand, though, that there might be someone with more malicious intent who's not oh, absolutely. a journalist that's in there recording people's personal information. Yeah, it's real uh, uh, it's... How would you feel if you were, let's say, at the doctor's office and someone was... Let's say a VA hospital, right? Because that's a state agency, right? Yeah. Where people who yeah. are saying don't have any privacy, right? They, and then, they, and then they they're don't in there case, in your yeah. room, you know. In your room, though. See, that's well. Here's the, or that's, let's that's say you're extreme. even up at the counter where you know, like most hospitals, you you go up to the desk to check in. You gotta give your social security number. Yeah. What if someone's there, right? Yeah. The hospital's a public entity, right? And someone's standing behind you, shoulder surfing, capturing your personal. It depends on the hospital. It depends but on the hospital. You, you obviously understand that. Overarching concern. I didn't say the concerns. In fact, at the last BNB I went to, uh, I got to catch a, up with a trooper. I showed a trooper. I said, "Come around, and take a I look at it. my photo, my, my camera, so you can see." And I zoomed in on something across the room, and you couldn't see yeah. anything either. Anyway, so yeah. you head out. Yeah, I gotta go. Be safe out there, Man, for me? No, sir. I, I appreciate right. you guys well, coming out. I don't appreciate being uh, asked to leave a public building, but you know it is what it is. Well, once again, <laughs> said it once, maybe even twice already. Thank you very much for being cooperative and cool. And yeah, everything yeah. Like that. And I said that way because you know it's like. Uh, you guys, any kind of person. You guys have enough assholes to deal with as it is. I'm not gonna. Exactly. I, I'm certainly never gonna be one that's gonna add to that Thank kind of treatment. I, I, I have way too thing? much respect for police officers to, to, to treat yeah. cops with disrespect. Last question for you, though, personal yeah. one. 801 was the area code you had. Is that South Carolina? Utah. Utah. Okay. Yeah. You still have Utah. Okay. I, it's one I've never heard before. So. Yeah. All right. You guys be safe. Well, there you have it. Uh, now, I know plenty of people that are watching this are going to be like, oh, you're a pussy. You allowed them to... Th okay, if you think that I'm going to allow them to handcuff and arrest me for trespassing when I could simply walk out and file proper complaints with the proper people, you're out of your freaking mind. I'm not going to jail today simply to prove a point. I can prove that point and not go to jail. Now, the chances of me being back into... This BMV in the very near future, I'm going to put that at about 99%. So uh, we'll see what happens soon. Mike Norton, KULT News, Gahana, Ohio. Hey Michael, my name is Mike Norton with KULT News. I'm just curious as to why you think the uh, First Amendment doesn't apply to your office.
Sir, any particular reason why you think the First Amendment doesn't apply in your office? How many people's rights have you violated in the past, sir? Do you think you'd be smiling when you get a phone call from your boss having a little chat about this? You just violated my constitutional rights, sir. You find that amusing? You think, you think the First Amendment doesn't apply to your office, sir? Oh, you can take pictures all you want. I'm not the one that's paranoid about photos, sir. You don't want to talk? You're not, are you proud about having people tossed out of your office for taking photos? Sir, you don't want to, you don't want to say anything about that? Huh? No? Nothing? You gonna toss out a Jew next? Are you going through the entire, all the rights in the First Amendment, sir, or just the, uh, the free press? You're a coward, sir. You're a small coward. You don't want to say anything? No? No? <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey! I was I was coming to bring you guys something. Wait, are those guys taking off here? I got you, I got you guys a I, I, I got you guys a gift. Alright, alright. <laughs>